Hello everyone and welcome to SHT Reviews. My name is uh, Steve Hayden Taylor. Um, just before I get started, all the reviews I do, okay, they're unbiased. Okay, I'm not. I'm not given these things. I actually purchase them myself, and uh, I review them for you. Um, so there's there's no there's no financial incentive for me. Just so you know that they're they're basically fair fair reviews. All right. So um, without further ado, let's let's get on. Okay, so um, I've repositioned myself. I've uh, sat down, been a little bit more comfortable um, while, while we while we go through this. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've actually got, even got spotlight, which I'm just going to bring over now, just so you can get a a bit of a better view of it. Obviously, there'd be a little bit of glare on this glossy packaging. Um, so so basically, when I when I bought this, I decided um, I was feeling a little bit a little bit flush today. Um, had, uh, had a busy old week for it's, it's time to treat yourself so I, i've actually upgraded to the um to the premium packaging on this one all right so this is actually better packaging than than you would normally get all right so i'm just going to stand up a little bit hang on not as young as i used to be all right move that down there okay so you can see there's a design on here now i'm going to be totally honest with you all right because i'm always honest in my reviews all right now I like the packaging, I do like it. What I do not quite get is what it's all about. I don't understand what this is, all right? Now this, um, uh, it's got obviously a lady's name and then the word sponge underneath it. Um, and then what I would describe as actually quite a scrappy, quite a scrappy drawing, all right? I mean, I think, you know, I'm no, I am no artist. I am no artist, but I could probably do a little bit better than that, yeah? Probably do a little bit better than that. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a creature. I thought it was like because you can see there's like two eyes there. See what I mean? With with sort of these eyelashes at the top there, you see, and then um, sort of a sort of an angry mouth with sort of blood around it. Um, other people uh, spoken to have suggested it might be a cake. Okay, here it is. Just go in there. Get. Just going to zoom in so you can see it properly. So. Um, some of you will have seen this online probably, um, or you might have heard stories about people that have um, been lucky enough to get hold of it. Um, essentially, it is, uh, it's a meal. Okay, now it's made by, um, by a chap. I've, I've tried to do a bit of research on him. I haven't been out to find out very much, um, uh, even though there is actually a picture of him in. Um, so anyway, made by this guy called Ben. All right, he's clearly... Um, it's clear well, he's obviously got a sister and um, some kids because he's an uncle. Um, that, that anything more than that, I don't really know about. You can see uh, the actual. There's actually a picture of the meal there. Okay, now you can see it's in a, in sort of a white ceramic bowl. Now that white ceramic bowl does not come with it. All right, um, it's it's important for me to point that out. When I first saw that, I thought it did, but it doesn't. Yeah, now you can see it's obviously not in the packaging, but I thought when I took it up to the counter, out would come this shiny white ceramic bowl, and it didn't. Or you can use your own bowl. It doesn't have to be white. It doesn't have to be ceramic. Um, you can use wh whatever whatever bowl you like. Okay. Um, moving down, it's it, the name of it is whole grain sweet and sour. Yeah, so whole grain sweet and sour. Um, above that, you'll see it says rice time. Okay, which I think is their little sort of nickname for it. It's rice time. Okay, moving up here, you'll see there's, um, they even, oh, I love it when, when companies do this, I love it. Um, it says perfect for lunch. See that there? Where are we? Perfect for lunch. All right. And, and, and what that's doing is it's, it's giving you a, a sort of helpful, handy uh, piece of advice. It's not like a big, big full meal. It's, um, it's more of a, I suppose you could say like a snack, really. It's a snack. Um, it does claim to be nutritious. They do go through um, explaining that it is free from artificial colours, um, flavours and preservatives, um, which is a shame, you know, but it, it wasn't that expensive, so obviously they've got to cut corners somewhere. You couldn't want any more information than this, if I'm being honest. Um, they really do go into detail. Um, what I'm going to do is just sit myself down again, because, oh, back's giving me a bit of jip. Okay, um, there's some nice little graphics on here. I'll come in here and just uh, zoom in on that. Okay. So you've got a graphic there again of that bowl. This time it's brown. Um, so as I say, you can use whatever whatever sort of bowl you want. Below it, they've given some heating instructions. Okay. Now this you cannot do this on the hob. All right. You can't do it on the hob. Um, you need to use a microwave. All right. Now I didn't have a microwave up until about um, 
I don't know, about 20 years ago. Um, before that, I used to heat everything on the hob. But now I've got myself a microwave. Trust me, it is a piece of, yeah? It is so easy to use. Um, you just like flick a little dial, press a button, ding, it's magic. I don't know how it works. But I tell you what, you put something in there, put some food in there, leave it a while, obviously while, while it's on, um, obviously goes without saying. Um, when you take it out, it's hot. Okay, so now we're down in the kitchen, which is where um, old Mr. Microwave lives. Um, and I have, uh, as, as you know, I've taken out a cardboard uh, coat. I've got the, uh, I've done what they've asked, which is basically peel this back a quarter of the way. All right, that's all on the instructions there. You peel it back a quarter of the way. That's on both that one and that one. All right, now a little smell, a little smell of the sauce. This one doesn't smell of anything. This one, it's got a funny smell. I'll tell you, um, it might just be because it's, you know, it might have been in storage um, or something like that, but it, it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell brilliant, I'll be honest with you, um, but obviously I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely great because um, I've been, I've been really, really excited about this, I don't, I don't mind saying, all right, so anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both these um, into the microwave, all right, now as it says here, if we just come up to the instructions, place both pots in the microwave and eat for one and a half minutes at 800 W. All right, so I'm gonna go up here, where are we? Up here, into the microwave, got that open. Pop those in there, right. Okay, so what I do now is I'm gonna close the door, pop it on, um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll be back to you in a second. It's just a case of uh, playing the waiting game now. I ate this bit. Seems to go on for for bloody ages. See it counting down. Interesting thing about this microwave is um, it's got like this little bar, and that bar builds up the more um, or the, the closer you get to um, it being ready. See what I mean? Get in. There it is. Right. Get this open. Boy, I tell you what, that is quite hot actually. Just pop that up there and we'll get it upstairs. All right, All right. see you up there. We are back. Um, the food is cooked. So both little pots are cooked, as you can see. That is, I don't think you can get any steam coming out. I'll tell you what, it's really quite hot. Um, I'm gonna peel off the lids and get them in a the bowl. Now, as you can see, what have I found myself? I found myself a white bowl, um, which basically, uh, what I wanna do is try and replicate exactly what Uncle Ben has done at home. Like that, right? So, first things first, we're going to get the old, uh, get the old rice in. In it goes. Move that around. That's quite hot as well. A little bit in there. I'll we'll save that for later. Never know when you get a bit peckish later on in the day. And now I'm going to pour this over, um, as per the picture. All right, just on one side. A bias on one side, like so. It looks pretty similar. I'll be honest with you. It does look pretty similar. Um, I don't have any of this green stuff. That green stuff there, I don't even know what that is, but I don't have any, so we have to do without. Right, so, before she starts getting a little bit tepid, I'm going to dig in, have a little taste. Let's have a go on this. Right. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, I ain't going to mince my words. That is pretty rank. I'm really, really surprised. I've been looking forward to that for, you wouldn't believe how long. It tastes horrible. It basically tastes like a syrupy sweet sauce on a load of really rubbish rice. Um, oh God. I think, because I looked up, because it's, where are we? Sweet and sour, right? Perfect in 90 seconds. Well, that's a lie, because it ain't perfect. Perfect, it ain't. Um, I looked up sweet and sour because I didn't know what, what that, I, I know what sweet and sour means, but I don't know what sweet and sour was. So I've looked that up. It's basically, it's a meal. It's a sort of a, um, a style of meal from the East. Yeah. I don't mean the East of England, not <laughs> talking about, not talking about East Anglia. I'm talking about, um, the East of the world, um, going over to the, uh, to, to the China over, over there. Um, now I've eaten Chinese food and I'll tell you what, none of it has tasted like that. I suppose I better eat a bit more. I tell you what, I suffer for you guys, I really do. Let's have a go. A little bit more of this stuff, whatever it is. It's like glue. 
Oh no. No. I ain't having any more of that. That's horrible. That is horrible. What a waste of 99p. You're expecting. I'll tell you what, this guy, Ben, he's a liar. He is a liar because everything on that packaging suggests that this is going to be really nice and it ain't. All right, okay. Um, I need to go and I don't know, have a drink, brush my teeth or something. Um, thanks for watching. Um, this has been SHT Reviews. Um, you'll see me again soon. Hopefully doing something a little bit nicer. All right, thanks. See you later. Bye.